welcome to Compass High School's graduation 2021. Hello. Let's hear you. Come on. Woo. Oh. oh, it was so good to see everyone. Oh, my goodness. I even... Oh my goodness, I met one of my students way back when I was at another school, and that was so exciting to see him, and he has a son that's graduating tonight. There are so many things that, that comes into play here at Compass. We're waiting for her to go back, okay? All right, and uh, you know, I tell you what, um, my name is Debbie Ferguson, and I am the founder of Compass High School, and I tell you what, every year, it's, it's, it's just like the first time. It's so exciting. It's so wonderful to see so many of you come out here and celebrate with them tonight. It means so much to these people. These young men and women who have, I mean, this has not been easy. You remember, I mean, we've got the pandemic going on and they're still here tonight. I mean, it's, it's crazy. So what I'd like to do is also, it's going to be a little bit different. And you can see that we have the screen over here. There'll be some videos that we've going up. Everybody knows, and you see this great big sign, 103.1. We already know that we're turned on to that. So it's really just, besides just you know showing all of our love, clapping, screaming, make sure they hear you. I know they will. And like I said, if you could be up here and see what I am seeing out here, it's incredible. I, I just, I, I wish you were here. I, this is just so much fun to see everybody, and, and, I, and I wish... I wish you could be up here. Maybe we could get everybody up here someday, but not right now. Okay, so anyway, we're going to get going. And I, I, I know that um, this is what's important for everybody to get the show on the road, and we're going to do that right now. So without further ado, nope, nope. Okay, we're taking a little bit longer. Okay, um, so Compass High School you know, started in 2001, and we started out with 50 kids. And now, look at us, we have like 425, maybe a little bit more than that. But the kids graduating tonight, they have done everything they need to do to graduate. And, and we're so, we're, are, are we good? We're, now we're good, now we're good. All right, we never know, we just have to kind of make it happen. But anyway, um, I am so, so happy and very, very lucky to be a part of this tonight. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome, and I'm so honored to introduce to you our faculty and staff of Compass High School. These are the men and women that have been keeping your students on track, making sure that everything is done, and, and enjoying and, and, and seeing their progress and, and with their, there's so much things that they, they sometimes come into play that it's a little hard sometimes, especially during the pandemic, but everybody has done it. They have finished. So here we are. I would like to go ahead and as the kids say, please give it up for our, our staff and our faculty of Compass High School. Come on, big clap. Come on, guys. Woo! Come on, let's go. of the Mac. Get up what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit me get up. First shot, come strut walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. Nope, nope, y'all can't copy yet. Glad, moonwalking. And this here is our party. My posse's been on Broadway and we did it all. Like grown music. I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it. And yet I'm on. Let that stage light go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and plank go in my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. That oh, that was so much fun. I love that. One more time, guys. One more time. They deserve this. Woo! Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is the my most favorite part. This is the, the most exciting part because now... I get to introduce to you our graduates that'll be coming up and sitting in front of us tonight, getting ready to graduate. Oh my gosh! Can you all just say yes, yes, yes? 
Oh my goodness, they have touched the hearts of each and every one of us. And I'm so very proud and excited to introduce to you the graduates that'll be coming up here to graduate for Compass High School 2021. Woo, let's go, give it up guys. Here we go. Hello, all of you. Oh, oh, you're so lovely tonight. My goodness. Anyway, let's go on with this. Right now, normally, if, if you can, stand, and we'd like to go ahead and um, we'll sing our national anthem, and then we will have our Pledge of Allegiance. Sean, who's in our front office, will be singing the uh, Star Spangled Branner, and Trevor, our teacher from Woodshop and, and Welding, We'll be, we'll be saying our um, Pledge of Allegiance. So take it away, guys. the dawn's early light, what so proudly we've hailed at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled 
open uh, yet we for the land of the free and the home of the the brave. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Sean and Trevor. Very nice. Oh, I tell you what, that's not easy to do that a cappella. That really is not. Wonderful. Way to go, kid. Love it. Woo! All right. Let's see. Let's move on here. <clears throat> What's that? Oh, 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 yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. Okay. I, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I wasn't doing my job. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. All right. So let's see. Um, I'm, I need to welcome you all again. And, um, and, and, and I tell you what, it's, it's, uh, a very exciting night for all of us. And for now, I can see you out there. Oh, you all are just wonderful. It, it is really a treasure. And um, the best part of Pembus High School is to see that they have succeeded and they're here tonight. It, uh, it is something that I treasure, like I said, all the time. And, and the older I get, the, the more I, I think that way. So anyway. Um, Tonight, we're going to be going ahead, and we have a, several different um, we have a, 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 a scholarships that we give away. And, and every year, we give away only two scholarships. But this year, we're giving away three. And this is for the Pat Patty Memorial, I mean, Schnur Memorial Scholarship. And it's for three outstanding, for now it's three outstanding seniors. It's very hard to choose because I think you're all outstanding seniors. I really do. But we had to choose only three. But anyway, so I'm going to have the first person to come up. Kristen, will you come on up? And we will present our first graduate that is beginning the, the scholarship. Thanks. Each year we choose outstanding seniors who demonstrate the qualities we strive for at Compass. These students are hardworking, positive members of our community. They excel in the classroom and are kind and respectful to their teachers and classmates. This recipient of the Outstanding Senior Award has shown many of these qualities since day one and continued to grow both academically and socially throughout her time at Compass. When I first met this student, she was a shy freshman who wouldn't say more than two words to anyone unless you asked her about her pet snake. Over the last few years, I've watched her grow into a much more outgoing person who brings a positive energy into the classroom and is a caring and generous friend to her peers. She learned to advocate for herself when necessary and actively contributes to class discussions, often helping to come up with their ideas for our class projects. This student has always been hardworking and dedicated to her schoolwork from the beginning. She always put forward her best effort regardless of how difficult things were. I'm proud of her for surviving all four years of math, even though she told me as a freshman that she didn't think she could do it. She is now graduating Compass High School with an acceptance to the University of Arizona where she will be starting school this fall. While I will miss having her in my classroom, I am honored to have had the opportunity to be a small part of her journey and cannot wait to see what she accomplishes in the future. I know she will continue to be successful at whatever she puts her mind to. Congratulations to Emily Kalach for being chosen as one of this year's scholarship recipients.
Wow, so much fun to see all this. Right now, um, Mike is going to be presenting. He spent all night, no kidding, putting this, oh, I'm sorry, putting this video together. So if you look to your left and at the screen, we're going to be showing, I think, soon. Right? Good? All right, our senior video for you tonight. Enjoy. <laughs> My best school memory is when in art class theory, um, Halloween, Mike came in dressed as a big um, clown and he came into the art room and surprised us all and that was pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. uh, my best school memory would have to be all the dance performances I have been involved in at Compass so far. It would be making friends. I'm new here, so I guess, you know, I didn't expect to meet people because I didn't really think I'd be here that long. Since I'm here, I need a good friend. Um, probably when we got together and did the bingo in the cafeteria. That was pretty fun. Possibly almost falling down the stairs almost every day. The best school memory I have in campus. There's a lot. I'd have to say really any welding class, really, it always have fun. So definitely my guitar class because I'm a beginner guitar player. So I guess since I have someone who can actually teach me more than everything else, it's very helpful. See that's a split between welding and uh, PE. One of those two. My favorite class would have to be advising. I think that's a very important class here. Econ. Definitely art, um, and then actually um, advising with Jordan when she was here at the time. Those were my two favorite classes. <laughs> it would be either music production or guitar right now, yeah. Probably like multimedia with Kevin. I would have to say either photography or music theory with Brian. Um, I would use the party emoji because it's always been a fun time here. I think it's always just going to stay that way due to the teachers and staff. The laughing emoji. <laughs> Definitely a laughing emoji. The one emoji that has like a mustache and the glasses because it brought out like my inner nerd, you know? The laughing crying emoji. Constant pain, but it was worth it. I guess the nervous emoji because I don't know, it's been like everybody's been kind of like nervous about graduating so far. So I'm making it. Definitely the crying one. Had a lot of fun in high school, but it was, yeah. Winky face. The emoji were like the squiggly like face where the line for the mouth and the cross-sided eyes were crazy. <laughs>
the dress code. A little too strange. The passes. I always hated whenever I had to use the bathroom. The giant, the school passes, they were cute and all for every class, but just lugging those around every time you gotta go use the bathroom. It's like, ugh. I guess going out of campus because there's like a like a grocery store, like a gas station close by and I could actually like as long as students come back, I don't really see a problem with them. The only school rule I change is the mask. Take them off. That's really the only thing. No actual school rule bothers me at all. The school's pretty forgiving, it's pretty free, so I have no complaints about that. I don't follow them. So none of them. Um, I don't think any rules here, really. I like all the rules. I think they apply really well. I've always said, like, Compass has a good set of rules. Unlike other schools, I think Compass rules are really not too bad to follow for a student. The dress code. <laughs>
They're right. There's so much I could get. Just get the work done. It's not hard. Just do it. Don't be lazy. And you'll be set. That it's it's just that simple. Be patient. Cause you know, stuff like this doesn't really it takes time. I guess keep your head up. We made it this far, don't screw it up. Good luck to the outside world. I we did it. I know a lot of us tried really hard and we're here. Make smart decisions. <laughs> To live your life and be yourself and definitely don't hold back for anyone. Keep pushing forward for anything you want to do, you know. Life's going to kick you down, it's just, you just got to get back up and keep moving. I guess go for the next best thing. Always do more. Go above and beyond what they do. So the class of 2021, good job. say we are proud of you and congratulations and I want to say congratulations to the class of 2021. Yay! <laughs> uh, big congratulations to my daughter Haley Cock. You did it. I know this past year was crazy and chaotic but y'all made it through so I am so proud of you and you are loved by so many people and I'm excited to see what you do next. So to the moon and back my kiddo. I love you. I love you and I'm so proud. Congratulations guys! Charlie, tonight came much faster than my heart was prepared for. And while I wish time would slow down, I'm so very excited to see where life takes you with the opportunities you've created for yourself. You are so incredibly intelligent, talented, thoughtful, and funny, and I'm so lucky to be your mom. You have so many family and friends who love you and are just as proud of you as I am. And as you walk across the stage tonight to receive your diploma, just remember, this is just the beginning of your amazing journey. Now it's time to make your dreams come true. Love, Mom. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I love how all girls are move them body. And when you move your body, on to move it nice and sweet and sexy. Alright? Woman, you don't need no more. Bitch, you're not your body. You want me to talk about a woman, you don't need no more. Bitch, you're not your body. You want me to talk about a woman, physically fit. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations, class of 2021. I know it hasn't been an easy year, but y'all fought through it, and we're all really proud of you. Great job. 
Congratulations, class of 2021. I am so excited for you. I can't believe it. We finally made it through this school year. I wish you all the best of luck in all of your future endeavors, whether that is going off to college, going off into the labor force. I am so excited for you. If you can survive this year, you can survive anything. Congratulations, class of 2021. See you all in the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. Uh, I know this was a really tough year. You've done a great job and keep up the great work in the future. Congrats, graduating class of 2021. Best of luck with your endeavors. I'm sure you all will do well. Congratulations, class of 2021. It has been an honor and pleasure to work with you this school year, and I wish you the absolute best of luck in whatever you do going forward. All right, congrats, class of 2021. Uh, you guys made it. It's been a crazy year, lots of challenges, but you did it. And uh, next step in life. So good luck, take care. Congratulations, class of 2021. We are all so proud of you. Congrats, class of 2021. I am so proud of each and every one of you. It was great having you all this year. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so proud of you. Congrats, class of 2021. Can't wait to see what you'll do in the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. You grew up. Um, congratulations, class of 2021. I'm so proud of you for making it through this pandemic and still graduating. I wish you all the best of luck. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You did it through all the good times, hard times, bad times, COVID. Congratulations, and here's to your future. Oh, oh that was cool. Woo! That's it! Okay! Very nice! Oh my goodness! Woo! Wasn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, that was so good! Mike uh, was the one that put that together and spent all night doing it, which was wonderful, and it was so worth it. I mean, my goodness, this was awesome. Thank you, Mike, wherever you are. Where are you, Mark? What, Mike? I mean, what's your name? Mike? He's my son. What am I supposed to say? Oh, you're out there. Oh, there he is right out there. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate it. And, and there's someone else, you know, that I, I that never gets to say anything or to, to but, but we have my, my other son, Kirk, who is the director of Compass High School now. Please, I'd love to have you come on up too. Come here. I love these guys. They're wonderful. And they put all of this together. Where are you? Oh, hello. Okay. Did you say oh, something? Oh, uh, she just put me on the spot. Really didn't have anything. So, hi, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is, said, this is what Bomb does. Though. She just says, hey, come on up here and do yeah, something. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I have nothing. But thank you so much for bringing me up here. Yeah. So great to see all you guys. Congratulations, yeah. class of um, 2021. It's been a crazy year, but we made it, right? Yes! All right. Woo! Congrats. Yes. Oh, I did put him on the spot. That was great. I was going to put Mike on the spot, but that didn't help. He was out there. But anyway, okay. So that was, and what I want to tell you too is that we're going to upload that video. So you'll be able to watch it on YouTube and Compass High School's YouTube. So make sure you do that if you want to have it or keep it and save it. See it again. We haven't seen it at all, so I am definitely going to upload it. So anyway, and, and you guys haven't either. So yeah. So anyway, that's what I want to let you know that too. You know, tonight... It's a beautiful night in Arizona, don't you think? I mean, look at this. It's a, incredible, it's not hot, no bugs. I was in Iowa and there was bugs everywhere. I mean, mosquitoes, flies, I'm just bad. No bugs here, thank you. And bats, thank you very much for taking care of them. But anyway, we're here to honor these amazing young men and women and celebrating their successes and, and wishing them all a, you know, a rewarding journey that's gonna happen later on after this. This is just the beginning, guys, just the beginning. You know, when I started Compass High School in 2001, I, I just, I imagined a school that everyone that was walking through our doors would feel accepted and taken care of, and that they were gonna be in a place where they're gonna go, you know what, I feel like I'm at home. I want to come here and be here. And that was really important. I wanted to let, you know, let the teachers and the students be in their classroom to enjoy each other, to learn together, not just having the teacher say, I'm the teacher, I've got the test on Friday, don't come and bother me. I wanted everyone to work together to celebrate their learning and, and get that journey going. It was very important to me. 
I also wanted to start a school that students would come in that did not love to learn at all. I wanted them to begin learning by starting our culinary program, our, our welding shop, our wood shop, our dance program, all these different things to entice them to come in and find something that you would love to do, right? And you've done that, I think, don't you think? You've come in here and you've had some fun and you've learned things about yourself, you've grown, and all, best of all, you guys have survived this pandemic. You guys, I, I, I am in awe of each and every one of you. I don't know if I could have done that. I was in high school to have fun. You know, it's academics, yeah, you know? But I, you have to do that. But anyway, I just, I think that you are something else. I also wanted to make sure that they had a voice. It was really, it's kind of fun when, when kids, I mean, not kids, you're not kids, you're not kids, you're young men and women. But when they decide that they wanna say something, we shouldn't shut you up. We should let you have that voice. We should allow you to speak and say to us what you want to say to us. And that's what I wanted to have happen at Compass High School, for everybody to have a voice here. And that's really important. And then also I wanted to go ahead and look at the whole student. When the student came in, I wanted to look at the whole person, not just look at you and say, oh, he's you know, really smart and he got great grades and oh, his standard tests were really up there. No, I wanted to look at this whole kid and I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that we were gonna get there. We were gonna get here tonight. We were gonna be here and that's what happened. And you are here tonight. A lot of you had to struggle really hard, but you made it. And I'm so, so very proud of each and every one of you. I wanted to you know, start a healthy community. That was the other thing. We needed to have a healthy community where trust was really important, that we could trust each other. If we didn't have the respect and the trust of each other, it's not gonna work, right? So we had to trust each other and make sure that what we were saying to you and what you were saying to us, we could trust each other. Important for that. I also, I also, you know, I tell you what, 20, you know, 2001 was just such an, a remarkable year for me. But, but over the years, we had to learn that, that, that learning does not just happen in that classroom. Learning happens outside that classroom. We have had some amazing field trips. I have gone with you on some amazing field trips, right? Wonderful field trips that we have had to experience. I loved going with you. I love spending that time with you. It's, it's really quite a joy, and I thank you for all that you've given me. Uh, I, I just, I thank you. You know, tonight's graduation, you know, means a lot of different things to different people. Some of you are out there and you're like, uh, you're welcoming that relief of, oh my gosh, I'm done. I don't have to do this anymore. But maybe there's a lot of you that are saying that, I don't know. But, but, but the thing is, there's a lot of you with really great memories, really great memories, and all the friends that you have met that maybe you wouldn't have you know, met before. So that's what's really exciting about being at Compass High School, is that you can be allowed to meet people that maybe you wouldn't make in other, other schools. It's really important that we share that, that we go out there and we meet people that maybe we wouldn't normally do, or we meet them. So I'm, I am, I'm a little bit, I'm, I always get a little sad. This is, but I'm so happy, but I'm just, I'm sad to see some of you go because I've spent a lot of time with you in a class or like I said, on the field trips. But it's time for us to move on, to start your journey. So I want you to please be safe, have a lovely life, really enjoy it, take it, it's yours, right? Let's just take that. Come visit us wherever you can. I always tell everybody that. Please come visit us because I love to see you. I don't care what age you are. I don't care. Five kids. I don't care. Just come see us. It's great to see everybody with your smiling faces and, and, and everything that has changed about you. So to all of you, I want to thank you, the graduating class of 2021. Compass High School has become what I imagined. Thank you so much.
I love all you guys. Please be safe. Thank, thank you. I always do this every year. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and have Sarah come up and present another graduation um, uh, memorial. I, I can't even talk now. But anyway, would you come up, Sarah? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Have to try to follow Debbie now. I first had the pleasure of meeting the student in the fall in my government class. Well, that's not exactly true. As you all remember, we started the school year on Zoom. So my first introduction to the student, as with many of my students, was a black screen. However, I had heard of them from other teachers and soon enough, they were living up to the stories. Almost immediately, I noticed their work ethic and dedication to the class. And when we returned to in-person learning, they continued this trend, working steadfastly in class. But I also began to notice their kindness and generosity towards the other students. If a student had a question, they were always there to chime in with a helpful hint or a suggestion. I know, given their history of persistence and dedication, she will go on to achieve great things, and we at Compass High School cannot wait to see what they are. It is my honor to present this year's Outstanding Senior Award to Haley Kopp. I don't hear you. Come on, guys. Oh, I like that. I like that. Woo! Oh, my goodness sakes. Oh, gosh. Congratulations, oh my goodness, so much fun, everybody's crying, I love it! Okay, so now I would like to introduce to you uh, a, a, a man that is, oops, I'm so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Um, I'd like to introduce to you um, a man that has been with us for many years, almost from the very beginning of conception of Compass High School. What? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, went too fast, wanted to hurry up, okay, no, senior speakers are next, I'm so sorry, Emily, I apologize, come on up here, sweetie, wherever you are, okay, thank you guys, I'm sorry. All right, so I didn't prepare this at all, so I'm going to be reading this off of Google Docs. So if I stutter, don't laugh. <laughs> all right. This may not feel like graduation, sitting alongside your fellow classmates, but feeling so far apart, looking for your friends and family in the crowd, but from behind windshields. The smiles on our faces have been hidden behind masks for another year. You have worked so hard to finally get to the day of your greatest achievement yet, only to have it be so isolated. These times have gotten more difficult much before they've gotten easier, but you have prevailed nonetheless. Tonight, we celebrate a group 64 strong of determined and strong and capable people that I am endlessly grateful to be a part of, along with a sea of enablers ready to, <laughs> ready to cheer us on one more time. And in the bright eyes of our graduates, I see nothing but strength and whole incredible potential to lead any kind of life they so choose. With all that's gone into earning this diploma, you have shown the world that your limit is only what you make it out to be. While I'm here, I would like to personally thank the phenomenal teachers at Compass for all their hard work and compassion, 
and for getting us onto the stage despite the ever-changing circumstances. I would also like to thank the parents, grandparents, siblings, and all other loved ones who have gathered in solidarity tonight to show their support for our graduates. Your patience and efforts have finally paid off. Last but certainly not least, I would like to share the utmost support and respect to my fellow graduates. No matter where you go in life from here, be sure to carry yourself with pride. Know that this is one big step of many to come, but without doubt, you have proven that regardless of the challenges you face, you will certainly overcome and succeed. To the hardiest, most relentless, and utterly determined, congratulations to the Compass graduating class of 2021. Okay, and then our next uh, senior speaker will be Armani. Come on up, Armani. Okay, good evening everyone. My name is Armani. Before I start, I would like to give a special thank you to my friends and family for being here for me tonight, as well as helping me get this far. Also, I would like to give a special thank you to the teachers and faculty members of Compass High School for helping me along the way and helping all of us make it this far and making tonight possible to graduate. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Hello, class of 2021. It's an honor to be standing here giving this speech today. I am grateful to be here with you all, all graduating tonight. It was a very hard journey and very emotional, but yet we hit this huge milestone to graduate tonight all together, and we should be extremely proud of ourselves. Okay. So, before... I finish on, I want to say go after your dreams and if you have something that you're passionate about, go for it. Don't stop and think about, okay, is this person going to laugh at me if I go for this? Do what you want to do. If it makes you happy, go for it. And don't hold back for anyone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It won't be easy, but you know, we can graduate in a global pandemic and imagine what else we can do. Hard work works, you know. Um, I am now the first person on my dad's side of family to graduate from high school with my high school diploma. <laughs> so that I am very proud for showing up and putting in the work. And everyone else, you know, COVID wasn't easy. We lost a lot, you know, but we still showed up and continued to put in the work and that makes us so resilient for being able to show up even when we're dealing with our own personal battles and when we felt like to give up. But we didn't, we continued and working hard. So congratulations to the class of 2021 for making it this far. I'm so excited to see where else we land in life. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness, Emily and Armani, wonderful. Now, now we're going to have Marissa come on up, and you're going to go ahead and... Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Woo! Let me take my mask off, huh? <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Class of 2021, family, friends, before I start, can we make some more noise? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate how high school isn't just some last four educational years needed for a diploma. I can't tell you enough that when solving an equation, what you do on one side, you got to do to the other. <laughs> but that's just one math lesson. How are you going to apply it to life? What makes these last four years extra special are the friendships, memories, and life lessons you students chose to make along the way. Sometimes an equation isn't the only thing we have to learn how to balance or solve. And that's the part I appreciate the most. 
Seeing you students grow these past years and work through not only your classes, but also work through what life brought. I could speak for hours about every student that's in front of us here today. Speak of the pop-ins I got between classes, the complaints, the compliments, the good and the parts we all needed to grow on and everything we shared. You all have made an impact at campus and I know you will continue to wherever you'll be. But tonight I have the privilege of highlighting this one particular student. One who probably gave me my first gray hair, but would also tell me it looked good anyway. This student started at Compass the same year I started working here and has grown not only in academics, but has grown in their personal life as well. From a very casual school attitude to an extremely determined and goal-oriented mindset. This student would be confronted with what seems as a stop in their plans, but would then problem solve around it, then figure out how to learn from it and continue on to their goal. We spent many office hours <laughs> learning how to balance the equations of life. Whether it be a semester goal, a personal goal, or the overall goal of graduation, this student learned to always keep their mind on the prize and work around those obstacles. This student not only took classes at Compass for the work, but they made connections with every teacher they had. They made sure to encourage students in all advising challenges and made friends with the quietest students between classes. This student proudly took on leadership roles and learned that it sometimes means having to carry the most work. This outstanding senior award goes to the student who had to clear their own food drawer out of my classroom the other day, and I bet that gives it all away. Summer Garcia, congratulations. <laughs> goodness so hard so hard and wonderful wonderful thank you guys so much it worked very very hard to get that okay now now Dave I can introduce Dave all right Dave Hallstrom uh, has been with us since like I said the very beginning of the conception almost of Compass High School I mean he, they have been and he's with his wife Cindy oh thank you so very much and <laughs> And, and so I, I'm so excited because Cindy's here tonight, so maybe she'll, is she going to come up? Nope, she's not. She, she, did she disappear? Okay, okay, it's okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, tonight, Dave, I would like to present our graduates. They have all completed everything they needed to complete. All their credits are done. The state of Arizona is happy with us. So I'd like to go ahead and present the class of 2021 to you. Thank you. Yes. As a member of the governing board, I accept this as uh, with great joy. I wish you many blessings. Don't you love her enthusiasm? I mean, you can't. Don't you wish you could bottle that up and sell it? I don't know. Too uh, much sometimes. Too much. I, I've been there for 20 years. It's, yes. been, it's amazing yes. how it's gone by. I just want to say it's been a joy to work with both Debbie and John and Kirk and Mike, they've been a blessing. And so give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good people, good people, I'll tell you what. All right, now let's see, what am I doing? I, oh, it's A, it's time. Oh my gosh. It's time, guys. We're gonna start reading the names, woo! <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so we're going to have Marie and Kristen. You're going to come up, and we're going to get going here. I can't wait. Woo! Woo!
Adelia Margarita Alcaverde. Nay Nisi Augustin. Isabella Nicole. Julius Pajero. Little Johnny Ray Bell. Beamer. Chicala. Damian Malcolm Clark. Michelle Harney. Garcia. <laughs> Alexandria Gaiason. Tobias Goins.
Serenity Heart. Elijah Sky Hellman. Jasmine Holloman. Ulrich Robert Hunt. <laughs> Emily Morgan Kalach. Emily Kovacic. Stephen Lazazara. Lexi Leckrate. Alex Robert Leifer. Jalen Looney. Kylia Dene Lozano. Marcus Michael Maley.
Chloe Sky Miller. Madison Alexis Mondor Iglesias. Morgan Elise Mondor Iglesias. Jamie Monique Moore. Zaid Moreno Gonzalez. Anthony Ray Newland Jr. Joshua Nieves. Sangiyumba Nadim. Jaylee Oliver. Liana Deanna Okina. Jolie Olet. Marcus Jacob Padilla. Alyssa Jean Papa Nicholas <laughs> Jessica Quillen Hunter Brandon Rice. Mari Rios. Krista Faith Robertson. Mm -hmm. 
Harmani Renee Rogers. Salgado. I'm going to do that again. Anaya Renee Salgado. Julio Eric Silvestri. Amber Leanne Sweeney. Kimberly Swink. Lucas Troy. Jalen Lamont Turner. Adriana Lisbeth Valenzuela. Charles Velasquez. Ashley Wenton. Floressa Willis. Kate Easton. Alexis Yvonne.
guys. Oh my gosh, you've graduated 2021. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you. This has been the best. Come on, guys, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Come on, they're done. Woo! Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate every one of you and the ones that I met on in the audience. It was delightful. Thank you again for sharing all these beautiful people with us tonight. And I love you guys. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Um, now we're gonna have the changing of the tassels and that will make it official. So we're gonna have Armani and Summer come on up. All right, guys, are they, are they there? Okay, all right, there we go. Okay, at this time before us high school students do the last thing, I'd like to just give us all one more big cheer for class at and <laughs> Now at this time, I would like all my fellow graduates to please rise with us. It on hello okay please join us as we turn our tassels from the right to the left ready congratulations class of 2021 tears like strawberries on a summer evening and it sounds just like a song I want more Thank you so much. Drive home safe. Summer feeling. It's so wonderful and warm. Breathe me in. Breathe me out. I don't know if I could ever go down. I just think, can I lie? I don't know. Sugar, I want a little sugar, I want a little sugar, I. 